Is America in a retirement crisis? Big question. Well, according to a recent survey, Americans certainly believe they are, with almost 60% of respondents either somewhat or strongly agreeing. But is perception actually the reality of the situation? Here to explain it, we've got David Blanchett, who is the PGM DC Solutions Head of Retirement Research. David, thanks so much for taking the time joining the program here with us. And, and you have data from a recent survey that you guys have been able to run on this as well here. What were some of the findings here that you were able to take away about perception versus reality? Sure, I think that, that there's a growing perception among Americans that we are in a retirement crisis. And that's coming from different places, but we see it in a variety of surveys and our surveys, other surveys asking Americans how much they have to save to retire successfully. So to me, what it just says is there's lots of fear out there today among people of all ages about the ability to retire successfully. So how is the number, because there used to be like one general number that we would toss around like, hey, if you, if you have this much, you should be set. But I mean, it changes, of course, for everyone, depending upon their situation. So perhaps, I don't know, a rule of thumb should be a percentage base. What is that good rule of thumb that you at PGM are discussing with some of your clients? Well, you know, there, there are these clever commercials uh, a decade ago where everyone had a number that was, you know, walking around over their head. They could right. see their number. And in reality, everyone's number is a bit different. I think that, that like, the best way to think about how much you need in retirement is to think about, you know, if you make $100,000 a year, um, you spend, let's say, you know, sixty thousand dollars a year. You're going to get forty thousand dollars a year from Social Security and a pension. It's it's that gap. It's that twenty thousand get dollar gap times say um, twenty. And so that you know, then you need you know four hundred thousand dollars a year or, or some multiple of what's not covered through pensions. The problem with this idea of a single number, you need a million dollars saved for retirement, is that it's it's really very personal in terms of what you got in terms of. Um, existing sources of guaranteed income, as well as what you kind of need to have in terms of spending in retirement. So it's it's very, uh, very personalized, but a, a, a good bogey is about 20 times your unfunded target from your existing pension income sources. When we look at some of the data, it was interesting. Of the 30% who strongly agreed that the retirement situation was a crisis, 87% also believed there was a national crisis here. So what is kind of really taking place here? Is there a national retirement crisis, yes or no? And how do we kind of address what people's perceptions are? So I'm, I'm in the strong no camp. I think that there's, I think the a problem is, is the word crisis means different things to different people. Um, some might suggest that if one American is not in great shape, that, that constitutes a crisis. Um, if you look at, you know, polls of retirees, um, indicators of overall economic well-being, retirees are actually actually doing pretty well. We have a pretty robust pension system, Social Security. So I don't think we have a crisis. Now, there are things we can do to improve the situation, but I don't think that it's a crisis. David, where are some of the other opportunities here that you're sensing that people who are approaching or near retirement are kind of looking across here. And, and I, I ask this because you see a market pullback like we saw at the beginning of August. And naturally, those who are close to retirement are saying, wait, that puts now a dent in some of the equities that I might have been holding and waiting to cash in on. So, you know, how are you talking to people about diversifying their assets that they can draw upon on any time, regardless of the market and preparing themselves for retirement, regardless of what equities do? So I think it's important to be invested in a, in a professionally managed diversified portfolio. Um, if you if you participate in a 401k plan, that would be a target date fund. I think beyond that, it's really savings rates that are going to drive the outcome for your retirement. So, you know, save at least 15% if you can or more. Um, and as you age, try to save as much as possible. So it's really going to be, I think, savings that drive retirement outcomes less so the markets as long as you're investing in, in a you know diversified professionally managed portfolio. All right, David Blanchett, who is the PGM DC Solutions Head of Retirement Research. David, great to speak with you. Thanks so much for taking some time.